All right, today I am monkeying around with Unity. My goal is to create a game in the app stores, both iOS, my first game that I sell through App Store and Google Play that um, I made for spending, spending zero dollars in about a month and um, yeah, I've never used Unity before. So it's a bit of a learning curve, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. And what I have here already is a scene. Um, I'm, I'm going for a third person perspective and the idea is pretty simple. We're gonna have random characters spawn and shoot at the camera, shoot at you. It's a mobile app uh, and you're job is to tap on the characters until they die and you know you only have so many hit points before you're done and see how long you can go and there'll be a high score uh, public high scoring chart and we'll compete against everybody else to see who can last survive the longest all right so so far so far what i have uh camera position in a plane and a spawner that uh, I found a YouTube video I'll place in the links about the guy who uh, gave me the tip on this but I modified the code a little bit um, to randomly spawn between bounds uh, seconds um, in a position that's in our X and Z bounds that we set to spawn the enemy that pass in um, and transform it to local coordinate, global coordinates and then rotate it however the object is rotated by a bolt. Um, and then just keep doing this until uh, we tell it to stop, which we don't tell it to stop yet. So what it looks like is I grabbed a little alien character, free alien character from the asset store and we're spawning um, between intervals of like half a second, two seconds. Um, just the same alien character who's running through uh, couple animations, grab his gun, get hit, die. Looks like it's just recycling through every animation. So that's where we've started. It looks like shit. I need some sort of terrain surface. I need to be looking at the camera and firing a weapon. And we need to be able to click on him until they take enough hits and die. And then increasingly spawn faster and faster and faster until uh, it's just insane and the screen is filled with these little fuckers and nobody can survive it. Pretty basic. The reason I'm doing this is because AR Kit just got announced and very soon there's going to be a whole new class of applications in the app stores. And once people start to realize how cool it is to play games where you're killing enemies in your living room, uh, there's going to be quite the demand for these types of very simple fun games. What's neat about this is that I haven't really seen a game before uh, that's it's like a first-person shooter where it, like where the enemies are firing directly at the camera, but you're you're not the camera is your phone, um, and that's moving through the space in your house, right? So it's really, I think, from a game development perspective, it's more like you're designing a third-person perspective game where these tiny little creatures are on objects in your house. Uh, yet, the, from your perspective, you know, they're shooting at you. So what I'm doing to help me get there, even though I don't have a new iPhone and I can't <laughs> play with AR Kit myself, I'm building this game as if it's just a regular mobile game from third person perspective like this where the characters are shooting at the camera which might just be a cool game by itself um, 
yeah, we're running this sim for a while now. My computer's heating up. That's cool. You can move around the scene as it's running. It's so new, new to Unity. Really a lot to learn still, but that's, that's freaking rad, man. It's cool how quickly and easy it is to just get up and running. Building oh, you can click on each guy that he, as he's running. This is so cool. I come from the web development world and this is a totally different thing. I'm super pumped about it. So anyway, we're gonna have to learn an awful lot. Stay with me over the next month and uh, hopefully by the end of the but by the time, certainly before uh, iOS 11 gets out of beta, and certainly before they announce the new iPhone in September, this game should be done for a standard mobile device. Uh, and then I will port it over to AR when it's finally uh, when we're, when we're ready, to, ready to rock AR. So stick with me.